Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be watching House of the Dragon episode two. Now, in the last episode, we got introduced to the characters, you know. I'm I'm kinda I'm digging them. After editing the last episode, I kinda I kinda changed my mind on Damon a little bit, you know. At for, well, okay, I know I said he's like he's a menace, you know, but after like re technically rewatching the episode, it's like, well, I still think he's a menace, but I think he has good intentions. You know, I think he just truly wants what's best for his family. And, you know, like he told Viserys, like, you're you're weak, you're weak, which is a very harsh truth. But he's being honest. He's not lying. Now, like, I'm pretty sure everyone else on the council is just fucking pleasing him because they're trying to manipulate Viserys and get what they want out of him, because I'm sure they all want the Iron Throne, too. But Damon, he can kind of see through that, you know? They're kind of telling him, like, Viserys, like, no, Damon, he can't be the heir because he's selfish, you know? He's gonna, he just wants a throne for himself. He doesn't care about you. When, in reality, that could be totally flipped, and he cares about Viserys. And so he's like, look, dude, stop getting, like, don't get manipulated. I mean, his approach isn't the best, but I think he has pure intentions. Now, he could just see it as, like, he is the best fit to be the heir to the throne because he he just he truly believes he is the best option for it not he doesn't think about it in like a selfish way it's more of just like no i will do what needs to be done and to be a good king you know like he's very cutthroat he doesn't give a fuck i feel like viserys i feel like viserys is like doran martell you know like he just wants peace he wants to make sure all his people are good and that nothing happens because of it but it kind of makes him a little weak because when Oberyn and Ella Martell died, he didn't do anything about it. And that pissed off. It pissed off Alara because he didn't do anything about it and it got him killed for it, right? Now, like, obviously starting a war is probably not the best idea, but, you know, you got to do what needs to be done, you know? I hope that makes sense. But, but overall, I'm not going to label Damon as like a bad guy, like the villain or anything, because he hasn't really done anything to prove that he is that role. You know, he's just, he's just fucking, he's kind of wildin', but like, that's just him, you know? So, like, I don't know. I'm excited to see where it goes with him. This episode is called The Rogue Prince, which I'm pretty sure is Damon. So... We'll see. We'll just see what the fuck happens. So, anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that'll be available on Patreon. Yeah, that's all because I'm putting this out straight to YouTube. I'm not doing early access on Patreon. But if you want to go watch Game of Thrones early access, that will be available on Patreon. So let's get started. Wait, what the fuck is happening? What the fuck is this? Okay. Four ships have now been lost. The last one was flying my banner. The Stepstones have now grown into a conflagration, yet you sit here and dither about court business. If you've some men... The Crown will compensate you for your ship and crew and make an offering to the men's family. I don't want compensation. Okay, that guy, I don't fucking trust him. I don't trust him at all. I think he's the most sus. He's the biggest snake in here. That guy, Otto, pretty sure that's his name. The king's own brother has been allowed to seize Dragonstone and fortify it with an army of his gold. Damon has squatted there for over half a year without even a protest from the crown. I'll caution you, Lord Corliss. The seat at the king's table does not make you his equal. Ooh. Mm, she's you have to... Dragonrider's father. Oh, solution. Send us. Runera. It would be a show of force. Or at least the princess has a plan. There's some better use for the princess's talents. Oh, Chris. Stop, bro. Don't sleep on her. She gave you a great idea. You just dismiss her. Sir Desmond recently brought a would-be poacher to justice. Pass. Sir Ayman was knighted at eight and ten. Do any of these knights have combat experience? Yeah. Sir Kristen Cole. Oh, that goes in the jousting attorney. From Dorne. Be welcome, Sir Kristen. Mm, of course, she welcomes him. I choose Sir Kristen Cole. Yeah. The glory of old Valyria will never be seen again. Oh, you dropped it. But these days, she doesn't say more than a few words to me. I think she might find it difficult to discuss personal matters. Mm hmm. 
It will take time. It did when I lost my own mother. Yeah, she's trying to comfort him by uh, by relating to him and be like, I lost my mom too. I know what it's like to lose a loved one. I think she would open herself to you if invited. Mm hmm You do have such an easy way about you, Your Grace. Yeah, he's chill, bro. He's chill like that. It's only been half a year since my mother died. Damn. And already they tried to marry my father off and replace me as heir. I know Wait, so it's been six months since the last episode already? Okay. Your father loves you. He chose you for him. He didn't choose me, he spurned Damon. Damn. She doesn't feel like she was actually you chosen did. for it. It was just out of spite. You know, for Damon. Okay, I have a hunch that Rhaenyra's friend... Don't know her name yet, but... I have, like, a small hunch. She's gonna... She's trying to become his, uh, Viserys' new wife. Or well, obviously, she's trying to comfort him, make him feel better, but, like, I don't know. I got a weird feeling about that. Whatever you wish. It's only for you and the gods to know. I wonder what she's wishing for. I mean, she's fucking crying. So, like... Probably just wants her mom back, you know? I want him to see me as more than his little girl. I mean, he just wants to protect her. You know, it's like, that's his girl, you know? That's his daughter, bro. He's not like Stannis. I'm just kidding. Stannis take care of his daughter, too, but he was, that's a different thing. But he just wants to prote protect Rhaenyra as much as he can. As king, it is my obligation to avoid war until such time it is unavoidable. Mm -hmm. None among us desire yeah. open war. Never start a war, but always be ready for it. Tywin said some shit like that one time, so... ...in has passed. A girl has been named heir to the Iron Throne, the first in its history. The king's mm -hmm. brother, so disinherited, has claimed the Targaryen seat on Dragonstone without challenge. Or has established a colony in our most critical shipping lane. You paint such an aspirant portrait of my reign, Orcolis. It is an honest mm -hmm. one, cousin. To elude a storm, you can either sail into it or around it. Mm -hmm. But you must never await its coming. Yep. Join our families. Wed our daughter, Lena. With the Targaryen dragons and the Valarian fleet bound in blood, you can show the realm. Fuck, I don't know. Ah, uh, do you trust them? That the crown's strongest days are ahead. I'll, th I'll think about it. I'll go back to you on that. To strengthen your line and produce more heirs, yeah. you could not ask for a stronger match than Lena. Ah. Uh... They're manipulating you. I don't know. Today at small council. Paid no mind. I, I thought I might have had some insight. You're young. But... You will learn. Oh, she did not like that. I guess her idea wasn't the best. But she's trying to help. She wants to be involved, you know? This is our best chance to save the digit. What the oh, fuck? Bro, you're gonna have to amputate his fucking pinky. The maggots will remove the dead flesh oh. and hopefully stop the advance of the rot. Oh my oh. god. Bro, you're, we're taking his pinky off. I'm sorry, that finger's... Bro, get rid of the fucking iron throw. Take the swords off. You're gonna fucking lose all your fucking limbs. You're gonna lose all your fingers eventually if you keep cutting it and getting infections. To whom? Your grace? The Lady Lena. To combine the strength of our houses and demonstrate my reign's strongest days are ahead, not behind. I mean, it sounds like a good idea, but I don't know. The lady lady. Now Otto doesn't want to lose. The... Is young, your yeah, grace. Yeah, see. Indeed. Otto doesn't want to lose his chance to take the throne. I do fear what Rhaenyra might think. What does it matter, your grace? Oh, she'll be pissed. Past. Her father must propagate the royal line. Her feelings are still valid. Dearly loved my own lady wife. The pain of her passing still haunts me. And to be compelled to replace her for duty's sake. Let's try and talk him out of it. You are the king, but I do not envy you. Oh, I'm sure you don't. Wait, is that the is that who he's supposed to marry? Bro, that's a child. It would be a great honor to join our houses as they were in Old Valeria. 
I will give you many children of pure Valerian blood, so that Bro. we might strengthen the royal line and the realm. Uh, Is that what your father told you to say? Yeah, who told you to say that? Yeah, where's where? What card are you reading that off of? That I wouldn't have to bed you until I turn fourteen. That's still horrible. <sighs> Bro, let's let's give it a good ten years, and then we'll, we'll I'll consider this in ten years, you know? Because if she's like twelve, I'm like twenty-two. My father is a king. It is his duty to take a new wife and strengthen his line. I did not ask for a lesson in politics. I asked whether this bothers you. Lena is your daughter. That I understand the order of things. I'm not sure you do. Wow. If you mean to elicit some anger from me, you should know that you're failing, princess. Mm-hmm. Quite the opposite. I want to motivate you. His new wife will produce new heirs, and chances are better than not that one of those will be male. And when that boy comes of age and your father has passed, the men of the realm will expect him to be heir, not you, because that is the order of things. When I'm queen, I will create a new order. Oh. <laughs> yep, that's what I said. But the men of the realm already had their opportunity to appoint a ruling queen at the great council, Bro, and they denied it. You're stuck. You're stuck in your old times. You're stuck in old times. A queen who never was. But they bent the knee to me and called me heir to the throne. Ooh. Yep. Here is the hard truth, which no one else has the heart to tell you. Men would sooner put the realm to the torch than see a woman ascend the iron throne. And your father is no fool. Damn. <sighs> I mean, she went, she's kind of right. But nope, that's even more more motivation for Rhaenyra to do it. She's gonna do it. I, I know she is. A good and kind queen will give comfort to your subjects. Does the small council have a particular lady in mind? Uh, she, hmm. She wants, she wants to marry him, I'm telling you right now. Daughter, the Lady Lena. I must admit, I don't know Lena very well. I'm sure that she yeah, is good she, and kind. She's like fucking 12, yeah. She will enjoy your company. As I have, Your Grace. Dude, she's gaming him. She's getting him. Oh. Showed us that the shop for fidgeting for a reason. I brought you something. I asked the stone masons to mend it. Aww. Dude, she's getting him to fall in love with her. Your Grace, I've called the small council to an emergency session. Why? I think it best you hear it directly. What what Damon do? What it what did he? I already know it's Damon, bro. What did he do? The thief eluded our pursuit. How is that possible that a dragon egg was stolen from beneath our feet? Wow. It was the Prince Damon who was the culprit, Your Grace. God damn it. It is the pleasure of Damon Targaryen, the Prince of Dragonstone, <laughs> and rightful heir to the Iron Throne, have a dragon's egg placed in the babe's in the custom of house target this fool just does what he wants i love it answer is to give him what he wants the realm is watching your grace what would you have me do send him to the wall yeah scorio dromon daemon later dromon hidrotso iles darilorus the same he chose for prince balon's cry oh my fucking god yeah he's caught he's Dude. Go to Dragonstone and drag David back to face justice Your myself. Grace. My apologies, Your Grace, but I cannot allow it. It's too dangerous. Damon oh. is without limit. Let me go to Dragonstone. Why? Why? So you can try and kill him without Viserys being there or something? Bro, this is a this is a setup or some shit. Otto has a plan. You're the most comely guard at court. Why do you destroy yourself? Oh. Oh. Will you see the king tonight? Hmm. Yep. Okay, I see what's going on. Yeah, so Otto has that girl trying to manipulate Viserys. I remember in the last episode, he was talking to her like, go talk to Viserys or whatever in the last episode, but I kind of talked over it, not gonna lie. But that just kind of clarified what happened. Like, what's going on? 
you know, that's a great shot. This motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. And leave Dragonstone by order of his grace, King Viserys. Where is the king? I don't see him. His grace would never lower himself to entertain such a mummer's farce. Yeah. Keeping with the traditions of my house, the same as my brother did for his heir. Mm. Here it is. Are you mad? Come take it. To choose violence here is to declare war mm. against your king. Yeah. Wonderful. Even if it ends in the death of your unborn child and its mother. Oh. Ah. Uh, I mean, yeah, Damon fucking hates Otto, so what's gonna stop Damon from trying to kill him right here? A dragon. All of you, sheathe the fucking steel. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it's Rhaenyra! Oh, that's a lit. Rhaenyra said, fuck it, I'll do it myself. She, I love how she, like, parks the dragon. Father named me Princess of Dragonstone in this castle you're living in, uncle. Not till you come of age. You have angered your king. I don't see why. Fuck off. This day of celebration, I am to be wed. You already have a wife. Not one of my choosing. And it's so you steal my brother's egg. You shared your cradle with a dragon. I want the same for my child. Here to have a child. One day. Oh, she didn't know that. To be restored as heir, you'll need to kill me. So do it. Mm-hmm. And be done with all this bother. Yep. He's so fucking he's so bitter, bro. But he won't kill her. He loves her too much. Oh. Oh. Yep. See? I feel like Damien just he's kind of an attention whore, dude. He'll just he just wants attention. And he's bitter about not being the heir. And that she is. And that Viserys is gonna have a son before naming him Damon heir too. So he's bitter about both those things. And he's just petty, bro. <laughs> it's like me. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Shit, sure, good thing Renera came through because Damon was ready to just fucking kill Otto. But Renera knows he won't kill me. Mm. His men might not put the prince's head on a spike, but what would they do with the common or he claims he's taken to yeah. wife and I came to you to be liberated. From what? Fear. She wants to be safe. I don't know. I don't know. If I'm her, I'm not trusting him to protect me either, bro. Like, I don't trust him to keep his word or anything. Like, he knows he'll be fine. But, yeah, she definitely, like, he can't make any promises to her. Ever since my name was read by the Archmaesters at the Great Council, I have felt Corlys Balarian's envious gaze step mm -hmm. from across the Blackwater. Yeah. You sit upon the highest seat in the realm, Your Grace. Proud men don't like having to look up. Oof. As a bar. An unimpeachable Valyrian stock, and she has Targaryen blood. What's to miss like? She is 12. <laughs> what if I was to reject Lord Corlys' proposal? He would not be like to take it well. Yeah. If you truly want my unencumbered opinion. I do. You should wed Lena Valarian, Your Grace. Sate Lord Corlys and fix him at your side. Yeah. Permanently as an ally. Yeah, I like this guy. He seems neutral. You fled King's Landing without a word, and you acted without the crown's leave. You don't believe in me? I had to do it. You are my only yeah. heir. You could have been killed. Yeah. But I mean, like from her perspective, it's yeah. just like you're gonna replace me. It doesn't matter. And retrieve the egg without bloodshed. A feat I'm not sure Sir Otto could have accomplished alone. Mm hmm. And she did an amazing job. I sometimes forget how alike you both were. Yeah. And by marrying again, I may begin to ensure that we are better defended. Mm -hmm. Against whom? Whomever may dare yeah. to challenge us. Against anyone. Mother would have understood this. Yep. I was going to say that. Just as I do. 
He's gonna do it. I have decided to take a new wife. Yeah, Elena. Watch him say a different name. I intend to marry. Who? The Lady Alice and Hightower. Before spring's end. Oh, shit. My house is Valerian, the greatest power in the realm. Yeah. And I am your king. Mm. He's pissed. I'd be pissed too. But, wow. What, are we not cool anymore? Is this mean war or something? But he is going to marry her. Wow, okay. That's what Otto probably wanted. Renera. And yeah, Rainier is like, what the fuck? I mean, uh, well, Rainier is obviously hurt about it, but it's like she said she understood it, but when it actually happened, it's like it hits her, you know. I knew what I wanted, so I went out and seized it. Hmm. Unlike every other lord of the realm, I can say that I built my house's high seat with the strength of mine own back. Yep. I've always thought of you and I as having been made from the same cloth. Oh, what the? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. I was like, who the fuck? I was like, who the fuck is he talking to? It can't be his wife. I had to cut our own way through the world. <sighs> We've been passed over too often. No. They're both hella bitter. The drift mark to remind me of my low standing, Lord Corliss. Or was there some other reason? They're gonna join. They're gonna help each other out. The kill. The takeover. They're, cons they're gonna start conspiring with each other. In the step steps. Some shit like that. Yeah. What the fuck was this? The crab feeder is backed by powerful entities within the free cities who wish to see Westeros weakened. Fuck. And the king's failures have allowed him to accumulate strength. If those shipping lanes fall. My house will be crippled. Yeah. I will not have Driftmark beggared while our king idles himself with feasts and balls and tourneys. I will speak of my brother as I wish. Yeah. You will not. Hey, it's my brother. I can say whatever I want. You can't. Waiting in the stepstones is a chance for you to prove your worth to any who might yet doubt it. Mm. Our worth is not given. It must be made. Uh, he's just getting to Damon. He's getting to him, bro. All right. Well, that was episode two. Oh, okay. I. It's getting juicy. It's getting juicy. All right. Let's talk about it. Okay. Okay. That was a really good episode. I know I didn't really talk too much because, like, honestly. I was just trying to listen as best as I could without like talking over anyone because like I feel like every fucking thing they say in this show is super important so it's like for most of it I'm not trying I'm just trying to listen and understand what's happening so okay there's a lot I want to say so I'm gonna try not to leave anything out but I probably might so okay let's see if I got this right okay okay going a little bit back to the first episode okay when the first king died, Jaehaerys, okay, Jaehaerys, right? He passed away. And so I'm pretty sure the, the queen that never was, right? She was next up, but they don't want a female to be queen. So what they did was they went to Viserys, who is her cousin. I'm pretty sure she said in this episode, you're my cousin, right? Who, and she's married to Corlys. I think that's his name. Still gonna have to learn everyone's names. Like I'm still I'm still trying to learn everyone's names. So Corliss, right? She's married to him. And they wanted to join houses, right? Form an alliance. You know, it would benefit them both. Like he said, it's like his shipping wing are kind of compromised right now. So if he joins with them, that will help him out. And it will make Viserys look a lot stronger and a lot more powerful as a king, you know. But Viserys wasn't really feeling that. He didn't feel like it was the right thing to do. Because, you know, the the girl he'd married would marry is like fucking 12. And he's like, nah, 
out. He's like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. You know, so he married Alicent instead. Now, Otto is obviously getting Alicent to manipulate Viserys. He's getting him to like her, right? And I, I Otto just won this, right? So he's going to marry Alicent. And, and that pissed off, and that pissed off Chorus. Corliss a lot you know they did say he's not gonna take it very well and he didn't at all i feel like Otto and corliss they kind of had they had the same agenda they wanted their daughter to marry viserys right for the power and everything like that but corliss was more like pushing it in his face but Otto was more subtle about it you know he was like like he got his daughter to kind of relate to him and be like hey be like hey i remember what it was like when i lost my mother you know get him to relate to her and then Otto was like, I remember what it was like when I lost my wife. It was pain. It was painful, you know, and it kind of just put like the idea in his head. You know, he's like, you know what? I like this way better. So now then he went to Damon, right? And with Damon, I'm pretty sure he just made an alliance with him to defeat like the crab people or whatever. Like he just wants to help fight him off or with Damon. They're going to conspire with each other. Now it's like, it makes me think, OK, OK, I know Damon. Damon definitely loves his family. I don't think he's going to I don't think he'd betray Viserys but he doesn't think Viserys is a good king. Maybe, I don't think um, Damon would try and kill Viserys, but I, I think he just doesn't want him to be king. That's really, it. you know, and I think it's kind of interesting how Viserys keeps getting fucking cut. Like they had that cut on his back in the last episode. And now it's like his pinky, right? And like, bro, that pinky was bad. Like that was bad, dude. So I'm saying like, I don't know, like the, the throne keeps cutting him, right? The throne keeps cutting him. It's like he's not... It's like the throne's like rejecting him. It's like, get the hell off me. You're not strong enough to sit here, you know? Or maybe it's just insanely impractical to, to make it out of actual swords. I, I really like Rhaenyra, you know? She's obviously kind of hurt that she's not she's no longer going to be the heir because Viserys is going to marry Alicent. They're going to have a kid eventually down the road. So it's kind of like, kind of, it really hurt her, you know, because she really wants to be the first female. She wants to be the queen. She wants to be the first queen on the Iron Throne, and I think she's going to do it. And it's like, she's like really, she's really fucking determined, it seems like, to do it. Like, when she was talking to, um, Corliss's wife, what the fuck is her name? Uh, Rhaenys Targaryen, I think that's her name. The queen that never was, right? She, the queen that never was was basically like, no, a woman will never sit on the Iron Throne. All the men in here will throw fit and they'll be pissed and your father knows it. So that's why, it's probably another reason why Viserys is like, you know what? I should probably find someone to marry because like everyone's just going to throw a BF if Rhaenyra stays the heir and she becomes the queen eventually. Like, so because it's just the way things are like she said you know you know like a man has to sit on the iron throne i guess you know it's just the way things are whatever like rhaenyra i she understands that but she's like fuck that i'm gonna be the first female to do it you know and that's what i love about her and i love how she went to dragonstone they're going to confront damon because she knows that okay damon will never damon's not gonna kill me i can resolve this like i'm the only person that can pull up on him and be like yo calm the fuck down without him killing a bunch of people like he was ready to fight Otto and all of them you know he probably would have just he probably would have killed Otto right there if Rain didn't pull up because you know he fucking hates Otto so voice crack he fucking hates Otto so yeah I like Rhaenyra I like her a lot but yeah that was House of the Dragon episode 2 comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments and if you liked the video like the video and thanks for watching oh wait this wasn't wait is this fucking recording wait what Oh, I ran out of space on my card. Okay, I'll put a picture on the screen.